It's a crisis few would expect of 21st century America. The National Guard distributing emergency water supplies, a community pulling together. Water, water filters. But this is not the aftermath of any natural disaster. The people of Flint have been poisoned by drinking contaminated water. The water that pours into Simone Falls' sink is not safe to drink. She's anxious about using it for cooking. Water that we drink every day. It makes your tummy hurt, don't it? Yeah. Now she's even started to use bottled water to bathe her daughter, London. It makes me itchy. She had dug so bad in her scalp. She was bleeding her scalp. She was having, like, lesions in her scalp. So it, <laughs> it's the water. I don't know what lead does to a person, but it's messing everybody up. Flint once drew its water from the pristine Great Lakes, but in 2012, to cut costs, it switched to the local Flint River. Here are the town's elders celebrating. Here's the Flint. Here's the Flint. In the man in the blue tie was the mayor. We'll come back to him. But in brief, the water was never properly treated, so corrosive it stripped away the pipes, dumping lead into the system. The authorities insisted there was nothing wrong, even after test results that far exceeded normal lead levels and after people developed rashes, fatigue and nausea. Now there's a state of emergency. Go, sir. Everyone in Flint is bitterly aware that childhood lead poisoning has long-term impacts on intellectual development and is irreversible. There you go, sir. Thanks, Mark. You got a whole city full of children here are drinking leaded water. I mean, really? That's not why we put people in office. I can't believe anybody would do this to kids and then lie about it. I just can't. It's, it's disgusting to me. Bathroom, bathroom, bathroom. The Walters twins once matched one another's growth pound for pound. Oh, yeah. But with a compromised immune system, Gavin was particularly vulnerable to the lead in the water. Um, he developed anemia, speech problems. Um, all his hair finally came back, so that's a good thing. We're not going to know the full effects of all of it until years from now. A lead and copper test on the water at Leanne Waters' house a year ago measured 104 parts per billion. The EPA standard is only 15 parts. She sought independent verification when state and federal agencies denied the extent of the problem. And the mayor, remember him, even went on television to reassure citizens the water was safe. She says at times it felt impossible to get people to recognise what she knew was happening. How can you say that there's a problem when the agencies that are supposed to protect you are lying and hiding it, and then the other one is, you know, apologizing for the fact that the truth is getting out? No one comes out of this well from the city's emergency manager whose funding cuts sent dirty, corrosive water into people's houses, to the federal environment agency who knew but failed to act, to the state authorities who deliberately rigged test results. But their biggest mistake was thinking that the people of Flint would let them get away with it. The EPA has now created a task force but didn't respond to our questions over their failure to act sooner. The State Environment Agency told us they had misinterpreted what the law required of them. Now I While he's full of regret, the now former mayor, Dane Walling, January says when he sought answers, he himself was misled. There were moments in the crisis where you went on television and drank and said, you drink the water all the time, it's mm -hmm. completely safe. Right. How much do you regret that now? I, I, I do regret it. So why did you do it? No, I just, I just believe in being honest. So when I'm asked if I drink the water every day and I do drink the water every day, then I share that. Did you ever have rashes? Did your children ever have rashes? No, they didn't. Any hair loss? No. Have they tested okay for blood lead levels? Have you had them tested? Um, they're, they're, they're older. Um, we haven't had them tested for blood lead, no. Looking back, though, that sent the message to ordinary constituents in Flint that the water was okay to drink. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's what's uh, you know, so heartbreaking about what's happened. There are as many as 9,000 children under six in Flint who may have been affected, most of whom are yet to be tested. My little ones, they don't understand it. You know, they just know that they were hurt. And then now they have to ask constantly, is this good water or bad water? Can I drink this or can't I? So, for that, I'm angry. 
The town's water supply has switched back to the Great Lakes, but the pipes are now so damaged they're contaminating the water. It'll cost one and a half billion dollars the town doesn't have to replace them. Kylie Morris, Channel 4 News, Flint.